Welcome everyone, welcome back to Bitcoin Update today. We've talked about the direction of the Bitcoin and uh, the possibility of uh, twisting a pattern. And as far as I'm concerned, it seems like it's really interested to go to $37,000. And uh, even though this is not my direction, but yesterday I've talked about a detailed analysis about, you know, breaking the TriStar. And we did actually break the TriStar. Okay, amazing. But what do we talk? What, what do you say? What is the interpretation of... You know, having this move up like this and the RSI pointing down like this. This is what I'm afraid of, okay? And you, you cannot, uh, you know, ignore the fact that you have a very big, big, bloody bad, bad uh, divergence right now, which is getting broken out of, okay? So it's kind of, um, you know, getting broken out of at the moment. So you can see that it's trying to get above here and then go back up. To this level right so it's breaking the divergence of course which is so rare you never see this often with bitcoin when you have divergence normally the divergence actually does play out but let's talk about what's going to happen now now that you're actually breaking above these levels you might be looking for this one to be your continuation pattern to con to go even up and i've told you yesterday clearly and taking this top to the bottom here this is where I might actually expect to see Bitcoin to continue all the way to $37,000. So yeah, now that you're breaking above here and you're invalidating a TriStar and you're pointing in at $37,000, not surprised, kind of a kind of an expected move as well. But uh, at this point of time, if the question is going to be what's going to happen next, then it might now be one thing is very clear and i'm going to make this clear for you that if you end up coming down here and take the lowest part of this area which is nearly a price level of twenty six thousand five hundred dollars so if you take out twenty six thousand five hundred this is going to be uh not in play anymore okay so that's very clear that's very very certain if you do come down here take out this top then we're looking to go down but one thing uh, again, on the weekly, we don't have any retests, okay? You've actually broken aggressively and you're looking to just go to the technical target. And it has happened in history that you do break out aggressively. The last time it happened was right over here, okay? You broke out, never retested, but instead you just broke out and you shoot all the way to, the, to even make some new all-time high. So that's one thing, okay? No retest. When the bull run starts, it starts. And if this is going to be a start of a bull run, which I'm not going to be surprised because I'm telling you, and I've made a video some few time ago that 69,000 is my technical target, and that's where Bitcoin is actually pointing. You have a big falling wedge, the technical target is there. But in the middle, you see, I've talked about the falling wedge. In the middle, it's that we need to see going up, come down, go up, come down, and then go up, and then come down. It's not like shoot like a straight arrow to $69,000. One point that I thought it's going to go down here was here. And because you also have that divergences and everything. But I don't know. For some reason, you're breaking it. Then you're breaking it. So when the market is bearish, you invalidate the uh, bullish pattern. And when the market is bullish, you always invalidate the bearish patterns. Which is a good thing, of course, if you're invested in, in Bitcoin. And I'm always, in, you know, I'm already invested at the bottom, guys. Uh, my entries are at 16K. Bitcoin and I'm still holding until now so that's pretty much it for this update on Bitcoin long term I like the coin long term we're, we're looking for even higher targets okay so that's pretty much it for this update I'm going to see you the next one love is